screwdriver. Two things about an impact screwdriver. First thing is you have to buy the right fitting. This is a bed knife screw removal tool from Toro. It's got a Toro part number on it, OTC. If you don't have that, if you try to use a regular screwdriver tip, they will break. And so rather than fighting it, buy the tool. <clears throat> this thing is designed to fit really snug within that screw, and it doesn't have any slop. It's got a regular um, 3 8 ratchet piece on there so that it fits a 3 8 ratchet for torquing it back in, and it fits an impact screwdriver. Um, dang it. I need an adapter. So you get an adapter from half inch to 3 8 and this will bolt on there. The way an impact screwdriver works is you stick it on there, and you rotate this in the direction you want it to actually turn. So if I want to turn it to the <laughs> clockwise, I'm going to rotate it clockwise until it stops. I'm going to push down as hard as I can. And I'm going to take a hammer, and I'm going to strike it right on the top. Inside of here, when I push up on this, can you guys see that it's actually turning? If I rotate it and then turn it, it twists. And what happens is inside of here, there's a, slap, a slope. And when I hit it with a screwdriver and I'm holding it, this is pushed down and it's forced down the slope. And either my hand is going to turn or this piece is going to turn the direction I'm holding it in. Because it's on a slope, the only way for it to go together is to go down the slope. So either the bottom's going to turn or the top's going to turn. And if you're holding it tight and you hit it, your hand's going to go straight down and this is going to turn and it will break it free. And two things are happening. One, I'm forcing it into the screw deeper so it doesn't slip out. And two, that hitting of the hammer causes a shock that goes through and it breaks the rust bond. So I'm trying to break the bond with the striking blow, plus I'm putting a down twisting force. And it works slick. Bolt this thing into a, a vise and just boom, boom. You can just go right down the line and pretty much break them free. If you don't have this tool, though, you're going to be in trouble. If you say, well, I've got a, a regular screwdriver tip, which is like this. If I just stick that in the end and I try to use it, it will break this thing off probably the first screw you hit, unless it's really soft. And you go through 100 of these, and they're guaranteed for life, but you'll spend your lifetime replacing them, so it's kind of pointless. Get the tool, and that's how it works. It's pretty standard. If you're going to replace the bed knife, you'd replace the screws. If you buy a kit, and a kit comes with all the bearings and all the seals, this is part of a kit. <clears throat> you can buy a real kit, and it comes with all the bearings, all the rubber bushings, set of bed knife screws. Um, these are the li these little white bushings go inside of here, so you got an outer rubber bushing with a white inner bushing. And if you buy the kit, you have all the replacement parts. These other bearings are for a single point adjusting. Up inside of here, there's a roller bearing, and it makes it turn really easy. There's rubber bushings down here on the two pivot points. All those are included in the kit. You really don't need to replace all those every single year. But about every three years, I'd recommend changing them. The bushings are going to take a lot of pounding, and they wear out. And so you want to replace them. So you, you can buy the screws separate. If you're going to put the kit in, the screws come in the kit. 